anybody get hurt from that? Yeah, right there's a guy. I'm let down, dude, I tell you what. Twenty-one-year-old Margot Mange was an ideal soldier. The former Colorado State Soccer Most Valuable Player proved herself in Iraq as a military police officer and a Humvee gunner. Eventually promoted to sergeant, she was loved by her fellow soldiers for her gung-ho attitude and ready smile. She was even featured in a CBS News story. Exactly the kind of soldier the U.S. Army likes to showcase. But just months later, Margot's Humvee was destroyed by an IED. Margot's head slammed into the gun turret. She was knocked out. And while she quickly came to, she just wasn't the same. And this was Margot, her face paralyzed by Bell's palsy. I'm Eddie Gomez. I'm the president of the Rocky Mountain Hyperbaric Association. We're a 501c3 uh, charitable organization that pays for hyperbaric oxygen therapy treatments for people suffering from brain injuries. One of our programs is Healing Our Heroes. It's the only program in the nation that funds hyperbaric oxygen therapy treatments for our uh, military veterans. Our program is fully funded by private donors and private grants. We're going to put Sean in the chamber today. We're going to put him down to 1.5 atmosphere for a treatment time of 60 minutes. Total treatment time is going to be about a minute or an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes for compression, 10 minutes for decompression. You ready Can to you explain to me what you're doing now? Um, he's down at pressure now, so we're putting, uh, having him put the hood on. Uh huh. And once he gets it uh, sealed up, it'll fill with oxygen. Okay. Just about got it. Yeah. And then once it's still all around and uh, pushed up there, then uh, we'll put them on. Uh, retired Staff Sergeant Ian Newman, with the United States Army. I was wounded in Baghdad, Iraq, 2006, by an enemy hand grenade. Um, I'm going through hyperbaric oxygen treatment here in Boulder um, to help alleviate post-traumatic stress disorder and TBI symptoms. Uh, I suffered from chronic migraines, um, memory loss, I had an enemy fragmentation hand grenade that inside of my Humvee in Baghdad, Iraq, 2006. Um, I took over 50 pieces of shrapnel to uh, my upper lower extremities as well as my face and head. And I suffered from a traumatic brain injury. Hi, I'm Brian Fulmer. I'm the founder and program director of the Rocky Mountain Hyperic Institute. Uh, we've been working with our medical director, Dr. Julie Stapleton. Uh, she is a Boulder-based doctor, and she's been in Boulder for about 20 years. And she's been working her with job me is to evaluate new patients and to make sure that they're fit for chamber uh, treatments. Uh, and she sees every new patient, and then she writes the prescription for the treatment itself.
As the medical director in the clinic, I'm involved with screening the patients. And what my goal is, is to make sure from our standpoint that they're a safe candidate to go into the chamber. It's really a very safe treatment, but it's important to make sure that they're well educated on what to expect and there aren't any potential risks. talk a little bit to you about how hyperbaric oxygen works. Literally, hyperbaric oxygen means oxygen delivered to the body at high pressure. Uh, it works by increasing the saturation levels in the blood, which normally do not get saturated with oxygen. The white blood cells, the hemoglobin, and the plasma become saturated. This saturation is then delivered to the brain through the blood, and this helps to reduce swelling, increase micro microcirculation, and reduce cerebral edema in the brain. tomorrow morning of hyperbaric treatment and uh, the treatment has done wonders for me uh, my voice has done a 180 my shakes have stopped uh, my headaches have subsided a little bit but I still get my head down with some more treatment and stuff things are gonna go well and everything but uh, I'm very very happy with the way things are going right now and uh, positive outlooks for everything to when I'm going you know I was very uh, pessimistic when I came when I came in I'd heard and been through so many different treatments for PTSD and TBI from laser light flash therapy to group session therapy. And I am on my last week of hyperbaric uh, oxygen treatment here in Boulder with the Rocky Mountain Hyperbaric Chamber. Um, I'm noticing uh, massive improvements in my sleep. I haven't had to take any sleep meds in almost two weeks now. Um, I've also noticed my anger and depression has um, changed for the better. Um, my memory is getting a lot clearer, uh, and as well as my concentration. <laughs> my migraines have been a lot less frequent and a lot less painful. Uh, I, I'm still having some residual effects of the migraines, but Robert no. found Ryan Eddy, the Rocky Mountain Hyperbaric Institute for me, and they gave me 40 dives. And while I was down there, I was able to come off all my meds along with my doctor's help. And I am still off all of my meds, which feels amazing. Um, I I no longer have to live on the couch every day. Um, I mean, I still get headaches, but they're in comparison to what I had before. It's just day and night. 